You want the address of my salon? It is open for business. Let your, uh, let your boy over here know too, we do bikini waxes. If he's interested, I'll personally do his. About blue. And your pickles. He looks confused. And what? Pickles. Every time we say prick, rough rough. May 6th, 2020, around midnight, Dallas, Texas. Gas station security has called Dallas police to remove somebody from the property. The individual they want removed is a man sitting on the sidewalk reading a book aloud. The book is the sequel to Rapunzel. It's been roughly an hour and 20 minutes since the gas station called for police and they have just now arrived. Six calls in Dallas have been waiting over an hour for response, including an armed robbery in progress. Our dog Bob. His name is Prince Two. Ah, Prince so. I get it. Okay then. Well, my real name is Prince Trista, but you can call me Pickles if you like. Pickles jump off his horse and spins down to attack Prince's back. Our Prince wags his tail. Pickles is shorter than both of the other Prince. How are you doing, sir? Good. How about you? All right. Yeah, I'm saying you had the service earlier in the time school with the. good book you're reading what is it whatever after bad hair day. whatever after yep. bad hair day having a sequel to Rapunzel I got a shit in the book yes sir whole bag full of them whole pokeball full of them it looks like I got a nipple bag full of books too yes sir bag full of books too yes sir I secured a cop 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 See my badges? Pick it up. You know when you're packed through, right? <laughs> seven now? Why are they kicking you out, man? They're assholes. I'm about to fire all of them. I'm not the real president. Do you think they're going to be pissed when they find out that you're the undercover boss? Oh, they're going to be pissed, but they ain't going to fucking find out shit. <laughs> <laughs> they find out you're an undercover boss and, and they're fired for... Yeah, they're going to get fired. <laughs> I'm a real sad person. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. They don't want you back on the project no more. I'm going to get you to the phone. I'm going to call you. So go ahead and grab your item. I thought that's all. I'll close down 7-Eleven then. There's going to be no more. Job number 7 starts. I'm going to show you how Revelations. Yeah, I heard you all aren't going to be responding to uh, 
like robbery calls during the uh, AIDS pandemic or whatever is going on. Is that true or? That I heard that Dallas police aren't going to be responding to like robbery calls and, and certain crimes during the pandemic. Is that true? Do you know? It is true. Um, you guys know any crackheads around here? You got like a phone number for a crackhead or something? No? Okay. Because I, I, people are asking, you know, if they can't call the police, who do they call? And somebody told me call a crackhead. I was wondering if you all got a good number for a good crackhead that they can call. If, no? Hey, you look like you could use a haircut. I'm, uh, I got my salon down the road opened up if you want to come down there. Get a haircut. You're welcome to, ma'am. I'll hook you up. Give you a discount. You know where my salon's at? Opened up last week. Where you get your haircut at? You do it yourself or you go somewhere to get it done? You want the address of my salon? It is open for business. Let your, uh, let your boy over here know too, we do bikini waxes. If he's interested, I'll personally do his. So with Dallas police officers going in and to uh, people's businesses that have opened up against a tyrant's orders and testifying against them in court, does that make you feel unsafe at all? Like we might end up having some kind of repeat of Dallas, downtown Dallas 2016? What do you think? I understand you all are in a tough position. Believe it or not, I really do. So any of y'all that want to stand up and do the right thing, guys like me will have your back, all right? I know I talk a lot of shit, but I know you can hear me. Any of y'all that want to stand up and do the right thing, there's a lot of us that are going to have your back. But y'all keep going around arresting people for running businesses, it's going to get real ugly. Real ugly, real fast. You know that's what the people in charge want, right? Y'all have a good one. Hey, come get that bikini wax, brother. Well, it was 25 minutes from the second time that they called it in because they called it in as there were six calls that were waiting over an hour. You were waiting an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes for them to show up, is that right? About an hour Whoops, sorry. <laughs> hour and 30 minutes, sorry. They had a supervisor just come on the radio about 15 minutes or 20 minutes ago. And they still have like a dozen calls on the call list that were over. Over an hour old. Over an hour old. One of them was an armed robbery. Yeah. Somebody held at gunpoint, stole their wallet, and nobody showed, no cops showed up. We passed three or four cops just sitting out there. Cruising around, sitting in alleys, shooting up dope. If I mean, I'm not saying I know they were shooting up dope, but <laughs> yeah. they ain't doing much. They gotta be doing something. No, they're they're, they're warned, dude. No, they're not running traffic stops right now, which is good. They're they're not out harassing people on that, but. Shit, I, I gotta finish up my round. Have a good one, brother. All right, appreciate y'all, okay. man. That's pretty funny, though. The bikini wax. He'll take me up on it. Yeah, he just don't want to do it in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> that explained to you guys why uh, why they call police to remove unwanted people from private property the liability issue if if uh, this is my private property i have the right to remove anybody from it that i don't want on it uh, whether telling them to leave or if they refuse physically removing them i have that right the reason that they call the police is because if i do something that i shouldn't do if i take it too far like say i shoot the guy in the back of the head while he's sitting on the sidewalk because he refuses to leave uh, I'm gonna be held accountable for that. If I do something that that uh, jury decide that somebody thinks was a little too excessive to remove him from my property, um, then you know I might be charged and I might be held responsible for doing you know stepping out of line. Um, police 
are not accountable. They have qualified immunity. And that is why security companies and private individuals call police to remove unwanted individuals from their private property when they have the right to do it themselves.